got a special guest for us today, Brother Mohammed Mark. He's an amazing guy. Uh, he's going to tell us about himself in a few minutes. But today we are on the Harrow Shopping Centre. We're giving Dawa, especially to the non Muslims, and we speak to the young Muslims as well. But Alhamdulillah, we've got lots of brothers with us. There's about six. Uh, six, seven brothers. So uh, this is the Quran table. That's our dawah material. And uh, some of the brothers around So, Alhamdulillah, we've got Brother Muhammad with us. He's going to tell us his story, how he became a Muslim. It's an amazing uh, story. Uh, he's going to tell us his story. So, Brother Mark, nice to meet you. It's really a pleasure. Welcome, Salaam, So, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so, Brother Mark, first of all, thank you for having me how you became a Muslim and um, uh, how did you uh, learn about Islam? I, I, I began as a, as a Christian, wanted to be a priest and um, I was always driven to help the cause of the love of God. That was always my focus as a child. I wouldn't, rather than a bedtime story, I would rather pray. So I was always very religious, spiritual, I always had a connection. And I thought I was a Catholic and the ultimate thing in that was I thought to be a priest. And uh, from the age of seven till I was 19, and I then went to the seminary to train to be a priest and quickly realized that this isn't for me. So my search continued, I was in Harrow, and wasn't thinking about anything, but in the meantime, I'd been praying, asking for guidance of the right way to serve Allah. And I saw two brothers handing out copies of the Quran, and I felt compelled to take one. More than that, I was in, just impressed with just how pleasant, how respectful they were to give me, if you want to come back, ask questions, that's fine. And I went off and I came back and looked for them and I couldn't see them. And the nearer I got, I could see them prostrated. And this image really, it stopped me in my tracks. I just stood and watched. I'd never seen, this was worship. This wasn't prayer. This was, this was something completely different. But more than that, the, they didn't care what was around or what was going on or what people thought. All that mattered was what God thought. And that, it made me really Christian. I thought I was religious, and here these guys have gone forever. And that image, that stayed forever with me. And then research, and I like the, the Salah, it builds that relationship with Allah. I like that, that peace that you stop what you're doing to, to, to give thanks. And, and sometimes, you know, I find if I'm watching the football and I really want yeah, to think, no, 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 yeah. pause. That's it. It needs to be, that, that's, it, it that's needs to like be done. The, the challenge, yeah. And it's, you know, and so it definitely builds that relationship which I didn't have that type of connection or that respect for my creator. I, I didn't, and you just look at things differently. When you become Muslim, you look at things in a different way. You see differently and uh, so yeah. it's, it's a struggle because the more you, uh, you know, achieve or the more uh, you want the highest house in, in paradise, you have to aim for it. You have to work hard. Otherwise, you're not going to get the highest house or highest place on paradise. So, Alhamdulillah, we are blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, we are Muslims. You, know, you don't become a Muslim just because you want to be. It's, you know, your creator guiding you, making you a Muslim. Yeah. And I really did ask, I really did ask for guidance. What's the best way to serve you? I used to say that as a regular prayer. What is the best way to serve you? I owe you everything. Guide me to the way that serves you better. And here I am, full circle, you know, back where, you know, I asked for guidance and 
And I got it. You got it. We're still getting it. You know why, uh, Brother Mohammed? Because you know, you took the guidance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the guidance through the team Dawa. Uh, you took the Quran from us. I mean, if you had walked away, it's possible that you would have never found the, the Quran or you would have Absolutely. not and found treasure, the guidance. I treasure that copy and I, I look at it and I think that was the beginning. That yeah. was the beginning for me. And you know, I try and explain to my family, you know, my mum said, you know, I feel like I failed because, you know, I brought up in a Christian faith. And I said, you haven't failed. It was because of my Christian faith that I became a Muslim. If I hadn't had faith in the first place, if I hadn't learned about Jesus and Muslim, I wouldn't have gone to the next step along to the final message of that. That is a normal, natural progression. I can see it and I said, you know, yeah. when something fits, it fits. Yeah. And it is now it fits. Exactly. It's, 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 I said it's a simple religion, it's a simple faith, it's a peaceful faith. Because I mean, Jesus was, you know, from Jerusalem, to Muhammad from, you know, Saudi Arabia, which is, you know, Mecca and Medina. But they're all very close, closely located. So, you know, they come from the same region, and it's, uh, it's the same message, that God is one, and that uh, you should be worshipping the Creator. Uh, not the yes, Absolutely. That's the same message that Jesus brought, the same message that Muhammad brought. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that um, you know, Jesus is one of his closest brothers because Prophet Muhammad came off Jesus. So in turn, you are following Jesus. This is the yeah. true, true message of Jesus. Uh, like us on Facebook, subscribe on our uh, YouTube channel as well. It's Purpose to Life. As YouTube channel. Zakla Khayren for watching.